everybody, it's Kayvon, the most famous half-Persian comedian in the world. I thought I would take this time to address a viral video that's taking the world by storm right now. Did you see this? Can you believe the racism? Check it out. In the nation's capital, here's the video sparking outrage on social media right now. Nathan Phillips was beating his drum and singing an American Indian protest song. That's pretty bad, right? I mean, why would a kid stand right in front of a poor Native American man who's simply trying to play his drums? Well... Sadly, with a lot of these viral videos the media gives to us, that's not the whole story. I thought today we would break down the whole video, the part the media didn't show you, so you can make an informed decision if you are against these kids still, or maybe you see a new light. Here's how it all started. These four gentlemen were speaking out in the public, which is allowed. Of course, they're in the Washington, D.C. Mall, overlooking the Lincoln Memorial and the Washington Memorial right there in the middle. And they are saying things including, Before you started worshiping totem poles, you was worshiping the true living God. That's right. And this is the reason why this land was taken away from you. Indian mean savage, brother. I don't know where you got that from. Look it up, brother. I did look it up. I'm a historian. Okay. It came so, from Indio. It came from a Spanish word, Indio. Right. Which means God. God-like people. That's what it means. No. God, yes. Indios. Yes. Indios. Yes. God-like people. But Indian, that word means savage. In the English, in the English text, in the English dictionary, in your Webster's, it means savage, man. The that's, white man, the you're not supposed to worship eagles, buffaloes, that's rams, right, right, all types of animals. That's right. Uh oh, that wasn't the white kids. That was uh the black dudes directing that at the Native Americans. Then they hit us with this doozy. See this? This is the problem, Israel. It's always our women coming up with a loud mouth, thinking they can run and bogar things. Thinking they can come and distract things with their loud ass mouth because they're not used to dealing with no real men. And we, you think we're supposed to bow down to your damn emotions when you're coming to run your mouth and distract what we're doing instead of coming with order and with a real dialogue. She's coming around here being wicked. It was anti woman. So now they've got the attention they wanted. The students are coming over now to see what is this commotion all about. And then the real racism begins. Won't y'all come up and ask a question, Billy? Don't don't stand to the side and mock. Bring y'all crack ass up here and make a and, and make a statement. You little dirty ass crackers, your day coming. Your day coming. Your day coming. Cause you little dusty asses wouldn't walk down the street in a black neighborhood and go walk up on nobody playing no games like that. Yeah, I will stick my foot in your little ass, and we can give a hell about your police. Not good. Being child molesters and getting away That's with That's right. It. You've been raping child children since 1492. That's right. In the Catholic Church. That's right. You've been raping children in Rome before you got here. That's right. In the Catholic Church. That's right. right. Make it stop. This one was really bad. And most of us can't your, even vote. Your president is a homosexual. That's oh, no. <laughs> oh, my. Oh. That's on him. Or this one. Your college degrees was paid off of the bloodshed of slavery. Your houses, your, your mortgages, everything your parents own was given to you by the bloodshed of our people. The students were accused of being white and racist until they pointed out to defend themselves they had a few black people there with them. And then this happened. Oh, they're going to call him. One black man. They're going to call one Kunye black man. Kunye West, son. Y'all got, yes, got one nigga in the crowd, they huh? got one in the crowd. One nigga, huh? They got one nigga in the crowd. Oh, you got two niggas in the crowd. Get out, nigga. You ain't seen a movie? Why you being mean? Get out, nigga. That's right. You don't want a 16-year-old kid die. They decided to do some of their school chants. <laughs> Hey, do y'all understand who the real caveman is now? You understand who the real caveman is now? And guess what? We surrounded and they won't do a damn thing. Look at this. So now you're informed of what happened up until the point that they started showing us the video. 
Here comes a Native American elder, Mr. Philip, hitting his drum, marching directly towards only one group. He's not keeping the peace between the two. He's decided who the enemy is. The kids with the hat. Here come Gad! Here come Gad! Here come Gad! Look, look at our Make America Great Again hats! Look at the hats! Look at the hats! We ain't taking Yeah, y'all better not touch him! Y'all better not touch him! They said at first they weren't even sure if the Native American gentleman was for them, to help protect them, or against them. Well, we found out shortly thereafter how that was going down. And this was on Friday on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial when he saw a clash erupting between a group of teenage students and four African American young men preaching about the Bible and oppression. Preaching about the Bible and oppression? This is a bunch of future school shooters. That's right. That's right. CNN had this clip I'm watching. Why didn't they tell you about it? Well, Philip says he immediately sensed danger. When I was there and I was standing there and I seen that group of people in front of me and I seen the angry faces and, and all of that, I, I realized I had put myself in a different really dangerous situation. What you say? You believe America will be great again? Young Klansmen? Go ahead. Look at your clothes. Here's a group of people who were angry at somebody else and I put myself in front of that and all of a sudden I'm the one who's all that anger and all that wanting to have the freedom to just rip me apart. This, this is a faggot child molester. CNN Sarah Seidner asked Phillips what bothered him the most about Friday's confrontation. Fear where this country's going. Yeah, we all share those fears, Mr. Phillip. I think you just picked the wrong aggressor. Fear for their, those youths. Fear for their future. Fear for their souls, their spirit, their, their what they're going to do to this country. What they were doing wasn't making American great. It was just tearing down the fabric. Christ is coming back to kick your crackers' asses. Right. Listen to him because you might lose your scholarship. Turns out he might be right. The school gave no support or no benefit of the doubt to the children. They just simply said, we are against everything they did. But you judge us by your penal code system. We don't judge you. You don't judge us by the law of God. How you don't, how you don't judge, you got judges, man. How you don't judge us. I'm a Vietnam Times veteran, and, and I know that mentality of there's enough of us. We can do this. Now, the media didn't tell you after the drumming incident, it continued going on for about another 45 minutes. This is what happened next. Newly elected Congresswoman Deb Holland is among the first Native Americans elected to Congress, and she reacted on Twitter, writing, this veteran put his life on the line for our country. The students display a blatant hate, disrespect, and intolerance is a signal of how common decency has decayed under this administration. We love you. Okay. We love you. Okay. We love all if you love us, give us our land back. That's right. Okay, then you don't love us. So, so if you love us, let's let's see what the Bible says about love. Let's see what if you truly love us. Let's go to the Word of God and prove it. Prove if you love us. Did she take your land? She, her. You are the descendants of your forefathers. You are you you we we are the descendants of slaves. And this is how it ended. They went home. Go home and understand America will burn. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how fake news works. You saw the sausage being made. Now, I don't have time to make one of these videos every single time this happens, so I need you to do your own research and always think before outrage. Check out my comedy tour dates. It'll be a little more lighthearted. We're just gonna tell jokes at those places. Good night, thanks for watching. Now, of course, I can't share the whole video with you. It's an hour and a half long, but check the link in my description below and you can watch it for yourself.